Okay, so today I'm going to show you a new um, tracking algorithm that I've been working on. Uh, I work on I worked on this on the last week of um, December. Um, this uh, wasn't too difficult to put together, but I made a couple of mistakes, and it actually ended up taking me probably an extra day to figure out what was going wrong. But what I'm going to do is. Um, Let's first take a look at the um, test video that I'm going to use. So uh, let's try to get this going. So this is the J36 um, series of videos. So the J36 was uh, unveiled by the Chinese military on the last week of December, uh, surprising many people. Uh, so this is supposed to be a sixth generation stealth um, fighter bomber uh, is the is the claim uh, given the dimensions of the, um, the 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 plane. Anyway, let's take a look at how it looks. So this is sort of the video released. Uh, these are videos from the internet, and there's a bunch of them. Here's the second one. So if you look at it again from a different angle so you would have you would see two planes there the first one is the the bigger one is the j36 um, and then the one next to it is a j20 mighty dragon which is um, a stealth fighter um, and so you can tell from the from the dimensions that the triangular stealth plane is much bigger than the other one hence people are assuming that this is a bomber anyway so let's uh, try um, third one here okay, similar thing from a different angle and I'm not sure if I have this fourth series video yeah so this one is a little bit from a <coughs> shell angle so the plane is very thin and this is I think a good um, video for testing so let's go right into it let's go back to A and I'm going to switch this to video mode. Here we go. And let's try to track this guy. Okay. Oop. Probably didn't do it right. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I wanted to track the middle of the body of the plane, but this one is on the nose. Uh, it has no difference in terms of tracking, um, but I wanted the, the plane to be sort of in the middle of the seeker view. But this one is fine too. So as you can see, it works, um, and I can, and that's not going to deviate from the nose of the plane. I can try to aim it here in the middle, and it will try to find a good spot to track the plane, and hold that. Um, okay, that will give us that. Let me try the second file. Again, let's see. Okay, so this one is much smaller. Um, again, this is. This, there's no change to the seeker uh, it's still the same thing so the seeker can actually handle big objects or big targets and very small targets with no difference in the settings so again pretty standard stuff this is very easy to track as you can see on the seeker um, picture in picture the, the image is very stable this is much more stable than my previous designs the only problem is again this is an experimental tracker that stability logic um, takes a little bit of um, coding processing time so the whole tracking is slower than the typical the, the, the original frame rate so I'm still working on that and just wanted to share this because I think this is quite an improvement from my previous one so as you can see it's right in the middle of the seeker view uh, here it's trying to look uh, lock onto that shiny little triangle there but there's uh, it just happens that it's what it's finding uh, but there's no um, requirement or preference for the tracker to zoom into that you can just zoom into any other part of the plane as well so that seems to work so let's retarget this guy and if you retarget it even to the side it manages to find the center or sort of somehow in the middle of the plane um, and it tracks that it's not always the center, but it tends to move into the center of 
um, the, of the object so that seems to work what I'm going to do now is okay let's wait until this is over I also want to see if this can track oh here it's again locking onto that um, brighter part of the plane which is the, the aileron or elevon uh, given this is a delta shape uh, jet or, or flying wing design so here we're going to probably have a little bit of problem because of the foreground object uh, let's retarget this guy this is the j20 and it's going to lock onto the trees the leaves it's fine uh, this is how i intended it so it's very stable here on the leaves uh, originally it would just go everywhere and be lost but right now it seems to be trying to manage to find here it will be pushed off because again the um, the tree stump there it thinks that it's part of the original target so it moves that so here it's um, right dead center so if uh, and even if you zoom in it doesn't lose track and if you zoom out it's still fine like in this case so that that's good um so let's see if uh, we can try one more video okay here we go i think this probably already looped back uh yep probably looped back and so now this time around it's actually not zooming into the into that white thing on the wing so it's just zooming into the center of the object so it seems to work what i'm going to do is actually repoint this to this other fellow so that's a completely different object shape uh, and object color uh, and again smaller size it's almost like it's just a blur but the tracker has no problem checking that let's do that but then i'm just going to wait for the j20 to show up and repoint there so that was an off center click uh, but it manages to lock on because it's fairly straightforward uh, it's completely different from how this guy looks so there's no problem there um, so there's probably not a lot to do here so I'm going to quit that and I'm going to try the other one okay see that okay this one is very thin so a little bit harder probably for the tracker but somehow it figures it out and the color is actually very close to the shade of the background sky uh, dark blue light blue sort of combo um, no problem they're transitioning to the clouds um, and that seems to work very well so again that's a good test um, the target is very stable near the center of the seeker okay i don't have anything here there we go okay let's target that oh it moved so let's just retarget to be sure okay okay i can actually want to put it right there instead of okay that's more center so that all works i'm going to lose it over the screen let's get this guy here okay and let's track oh here we go oh that's the same as the previous one okay i think that's one but i want to try i'm going to try the other side let's see okay that seems fine okay so now but i'm going to try this the the escort the fighter x escort this time around again different color thinner um, no problem tracking that it's a very thin pencil object so that's fine it will be stuck there on the tree and this is really really dim blurry you can barely make the design the shape of the target but again no problem this one works very well so i just need to work on the speed of the execution but that's uh, I would have a few months to figure it out. This one seems to be fine. And okay, let's see if I can.
at this soon. Before I do that, let me try one more. Let's go to, I think it was B. Yeah, I wanted to try to track this little guy here. Of center manages to find the little dot and that's the much more target so if you zoom in or out it should pose some problems but here it manages to track it down again dead center so if you have a drone um, it's very fast and can chase that um, probably not realistic but at least it's it can be tracked so I think that's good enough there let's now stop this demo there's more to come but this is just a good start for this new year and that's it